Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie. Today we've got another edition of Ikea Hacks. Now, if you've been on my channel, I'm sure you definitely know by now that I love doing Ikea Hacks and I have a whole series dedicated to it called Can I Hack It? Where I challenge myself to recreate decor from popular stores using items from Ikea. So today we are doing something a little bit different because I'm going to be doing seasonal decor and these are going to be Ikea Hacks for fall. So I picked up a few items the last time I was there and I thought it would be really fun to create some fall autumn inspired decor on the cheap, so I think you guys will really like these. They turned out super cute, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first project I wanted to try was a pumpkin-shaped wreath, and if you just search around on Pinterest, you'll see a bunch of these, but none of them were quite my style exactly. So I really wanted to create my own version. The one that I liked the most was actually posted by Michaels, and that was the closest to the vibe that I was going for with this DIY. When I was at Ikea, I found these small faux grapevine wreaths with leaves for $4.99 each. And actually, when I first saw them, I didn't really have a plan for them. But when I got them home, I decided to cut off the piece of the wreath that was holding the leaves to it. This was wrapped all the way around the wreath, so I had to cut it in a few different spots to get the entire thing off and to finally remove the leaves and any other pieces that were loose. Once I got the wreath down to its base, I decided to leave the little loop that was attached to it for hanging, just in case I want to hang this up at some point, and I don't think it will be in the way of anything. Then I repeated this whole process with the second wreath. Now to create the pumpkin shape, I laid one over top of the other, leaving an overlap in the middle. You could essentially do this with any wreath forms and create this same shape, so if you don't have an Ikea near you, you can definitely still accomplish this. I added some hot glue at each of the contact points to connect these two together. Every pumpkin needs a stem, so I cut some wood dowels down to about three inches long. I bunched three of them together to make them more substantial. Then I added glue to one of them and glued them all into one piece. I thought that the pieces of the wreath that I had cut off at the beginning would be perfect for the stem, so I glued the end of it down to the dowels, then slowly wrapped it around. I ended up using two pieces for this, so once I got to the end of the first one, I just glued it down and started on the second one. Lastly, I added more glue to the bottom of the stem and secured it to the back of the pumpkin. Now for the fun part, which is decorating it, so I'm going to be using dried florals that I also picked up at Ikea, and you might recognize this bunch from my kitchen makeover. I only wanted to decorate the top, so I carefully laid out a few pieces at a time and glued them down in layers. I didn't worry about cutting the stems until the very end once I was happy with how everything was arranged. To cover up the area where everything intersected, I added a couple of extra little fall embellishments that I had lying around, and that completes the look. I'm so happy with how this turned out from just two little wreaths to this really, really pretty pumpkin decor piece. All right, so the second thing that I really wanted to make was some framed textile art, which is everywhere right now, and it can be pretty pricey. If you just image search this, you'll see a ton of examples, like this one from West Elm, and just so many different options. So I thought, why not make a seasonal one? Ikea always has really cute placemats like this gray one, which was the last in the store when I was there, and they also just came out with a new line of fall decor, which included these dish towels that come in a couple of different patterns, like this wheat pattern, as well as a bunch of different fall leaves. I'm also using the Hofstra frames, which are always a favorite of mine at Ikea. I picked up this linen-like sheet from the craft store. You can find it in the scrapbooking section, and I thought it would be perfect for the background of the art. So I started by tracing the back piece of the frame onto the back of the linen so that I could cut it down to size. 
I decided that six inches seemed to be the perfect size for this smaller textile piece. It looks like it will fit perfectly with plenty of room on the outer edges. So I just traced a six inch square onto the back of the placemat using a Sharpie so that I would be able to see the lines. Next, I cut it out and made sure to cut away from the sewn edges because I'm going for more of a raw, unfinished look here. If there are any loose strands when you're done, you can pull them away because this will only add to that unfinished look. I repeated the same process with the back of the dish towel, except this time I used a pencil because the fabric is really thin and I didn't want the marker to bleed through to the other side. I just decided on which pattern I liked the best and traced my square there. Then I cut it out and again if there were any loose edges I pulled them away wherever possible. You can also leave some small strands hanging off the edge too if you like that look. Now to get them ready to be framed, I centered the piece on the linen and then to secure it, I'm just using some double-sided tape. I chose this because I think it would be fun to be able to switch these out whenever I want to, depending on the time of year or what kind of fabric I might come across in the future. So this will make it really easy to switch them out. I love this kind of project because you can really customize it to your home and your style, and if your style changes, then you can easily change this to fit it. I think these would look amazing hung up together or styled on a shelf, there are so many possibilities. Okay, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these DIYs was your favorite. I'm so excited to see which one you guys liked the best. And let me know if you're decorating for fall, if you try any of these out. I would love it if you tagged me on Instagram. I just love to see your recreations. It makes me so happy when you guys make the DIYs from my videos. So make sure to tag me or just send me like a private message on there so I can see it. And of course, make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're not already and hit that little bell notification button so you're one of the first people who gets notified when I upload a new video. Thank you guys as always for your support. I appreciate it so much and I'll see you guys really soon.